Is it? Oh my god. Uh, I don't know what to do. I, I really don't know how to do this. Uh. Hi everyone. My name is Abby Vandermeer and welcome to my World Race Gap Year vlog. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know how to do this. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to record myself. I don't know how to talk to a camera. I don't know how to edit videos. But we're going to go ahead and just give it a shot. For those of you who don't know what the World Race Gap Year is, I will be going on a nine-month mission trip to four different countries instead of going to college this year. I will be in Costa Rica, Guatemala, Thailand, and Swaziland. So after I announced my gap year a few weeks ago, I had a lot of people approach me and they were like, hey, are you going to be doing anything where we can stay updated on your your journey throughout this gap year? And I was like, yeah, like I'm going to be having a blog or I'm going to be writing about my experiences and stuff. And they were like, no, 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 like, like, are you going to be taking videos and posting pictures? And basically what they were hinting at is, are you going to do any kind of YouTube vlogging videos? And my, my immediate answer was no, I don't know how to do that. But this gap year is all about stepping outside of our comfort zone. So I'm going to try to vlog. This is probably going to be quite the experience, so just bear with me. Anyway, I kind of just wanted to come on here for my first video and just explain and answer a few questions that people have been asking me frequently since I first announced my gap year. Also, you're just gonna have to ignore all the background noise because I live with six other people and a dog and we have five chickens. So there tends to be a lot of noise and I apologize. Question number one is how long will you be gone? And the answer to that question is roughly nine months. Um, as of right now, I'm supposed to be leaving on September 2nd for Atlanta, Georgia, where I will be doing a registration and launch planning kind of thing with my parents and then I will head from there to training camp which is also in Georgia and that'll be like 10 to 11 days I think and then after training camp I will depart from my first country which I'm pretty sure is Costa Rica and then I won't be coming back until probably late May to early June. I'm also not coming home during this nine months. Um, I won't be home for Christmas, I won't be home for Easter or New Year's or anything like that. Um, the plan is for me to be gone the entire nine months. So the second question is, do you have to fundraise for this trip? And the answer is yes. Um, this is a mission trip. It's a long, longer mission trip. But just like any of my other trips, I will have to fundraise for it. I will have to raise money to go. Um, and I will share a little bit more about what that's going to look like for me. I know it's going to be hard with this coronavirus. But I'm confident that God will provide. He's always been faithful for me throughout these past trips as far as raising money goes. And I know that he will provide for me this time. But I will have more information as far as fundraising goes. Hopefully in my next video if I make a second video. Because I don't even know how this one is going to turn out. Also, I thought it would be cool to wear a World Race t-shirt for this. But um, I actually don't have one. And so I'm repping the... Brit Nicole be the change little crew neck hoodie thing we've got going on so be the change everyone be inspired um because I don't have a world race t-shirt at the moment <sighs> lastly I just wanted to come on here and say thank you to you guys because I have received a lot of love and a lot of support over the past month since I announced my gap year with the world race I'm so excited and it just means a lot to me to have people who are supportive even though I'm taking a year off from school. Um, I think that's sometimes kind of a, a scary thing and it, sometimes it just has kind of a stigma around it but I really have appreciated all of the love and all of the support since my acceptance and I even had people who were praying for me while I was doing my phone interview for the World Race to be accepted onto the program. And so I really just appreciate you guys and I love you and I'm so excited to share this journey with you because even though I can't put you in my suitcase and take you with me on the race, um, I think it'll be really special for you guys to kind of follow me on this journey and see what the Lord has in store for me. So thank you so much. Also, I just want to point out that 
Um, yesterday it was 70 degrees and sunny outside and now it is cold and it's actually just started to snow. So welcome to April in Indiana. We are so glad to have you and we hope that you enjoy your stay. Cannot wait for warmer weather. Anyway, if you finished this video, then you get a gold star. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. I'm very proud of you. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> lastly, <clears throat> oh, that was not a good lastly. Let me try that again. My family is really out here listening to Frozen music. I'm pretty sure they're the reason that it's snowing outside.